Hey guys, once again welcome back to Rootset. In the last video, I explained everything you need to know about our Dino, robots, sensors and showed you how to make a simple robot for beginners. If you are a beginner and you are really interested in learning robotics, go check it out. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make this awesome mobile phone control robot using Arduino. Here, I'll be giving you guys complete details including the circuit diagram, the PCB layout if you want to make a PCB and complete codes for you to make your own. Just like the previous video, I will try to make this video as simple as possible so that you can understand everything easily in a fun way. Here, what we are going to do is, we will be making a circuit that will receive data from the mobile phone and drive the motors connected to the robot. And this is the circuit I made. You can try it out on a breadboard and once you are done, you can use it as such for the project or make your own PCB. I personally like PCBs. PCBs are neat, help to get rid of all nasty wires hanging around and it's cool to make your own PCBs for your project, right? So, I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. Altium is a powerful tool which can be used to design and create your own PCBs for your project as well as complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. The UI is user-friendly and it's very easy for beginners to get started. I will leave the link of the trial version in the description. So make sure you check it out. Here, I have designed a PCB layout where you can easily mount your Arduino Nano 33 IoT. L293 d ICs and the supporting components and set this up without using messy wires and cables hanging around. This board is lightweight and can be powered using a 9V battery or a 12V power adapter. We need to power up the whole circuit and drive all 4 motors using L293 d motor driver and or Arduino board. We need a powerful source that can provide enough current so I decided to go with a 12V lithium polymer battery. And here you can see that the input voltage is connected to a 7805 regulator. 7805 is a 5 volt regulator which will convert an input voltage between 7 to 32 volt to a steady 5 volt DC supply. There are indicator LEDs across various points for easy troubleshooting. You can either power your Arduino using 12 volt or regulated 5 volt output from 7805 regulator. You can select that using a jumper. Now powering Arduino depends upon the type of board you are using. Here, I am using Arduino Nano 33 IoT which can withstand a voltage of 12 volt in its main pin. It's not the case with all the boards, you know. In some boards, if I am connecting this 12 volt directly, it may fry the chip. So if you want, you can use a voltage regulator to step down the voltage to 5 volt before feeding into Arduino. You can easily drive the DC motors using a simple head bridge circuit or a motor driver. In this project, I will be using L293D. These DC motors store huge amount of current and we have 4 of them. So I will be using 2 L293 d in a piggyback configuration. It simply means connecting them in parallel. This will double the current and enables you to control 2 set of DC motors at the same time. If you are not sure about piggybacking L293 d and doubling the output current, make sure you check this video. Once you are done drawing the circuit, you can use Altium to make your PCB layout. Now we will order PCB from JLC PCB. First, go to JLC PCB website and click on code now. And here, upload your Gerber file. Once the Gerber file is uploaded, it will show you a preview of your circuit board. Below the preview, you will see so many options such as PCB, quantity, texture, thickness, color. So choose all that are necessary for you. Once everything is done, click on save to cart. In the next page, provide a shipping and payment option and check out securely. You can either use debit or credit card to pay. The PCB will be manufactured and shipped within days and will be delivered to your doorstep. Once you get all the components and the PCB, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components before soldering. Now setting up the robot chassis. This is a cool robot chassis I found online. This one has 4 huge wheels connected to 4 DC motors. The mud tires are strong and provide enough friction between the tire and the ground which enables this board to climb through rough and slippery dirt roads or rocks without much effort. You will find the link in the description. Like I mentioned earlier, this robot is controlled using an Android smartphone using Wi-Fi. This is similar to our Wi-Fi robot using Arduino which I published a month ago. In order to control our robot, it should be connected to an active Wi-Fi network. You can either use your home Wi-Fi network or 
Like I did, you can create a hotspot on your smartphone. Now you can start programming your Arduino. First, connect your Arduino to your PC. Guys, this is our code. You can download this code, you will find this link in the description. This is where you enter the ESS ID and passphrase of your network. Before uploading, make sure that you change values to SSID and passphrase of your Wi-Fi network. And this is the port Arduino will be listening to for incoming UDP packets. These four pins we will be connecting to motor driver input. And here, we connect to the Wi-Fi network using predefined ESS ID and passphrase and set up a UDP listener in the predefined port. And here we save the UDP packets contents to the variable packet buffer and print its value. And here we check the value and drive the robot. Once it's done, you can go to tools, select the right port and the right board, compile it and click on upload. Once you have uploaded the code, open up the serial monitor. There you will see the IP address of the board. That's it guys, all the hard work is done. Now you can disconnect the cable and close the chassis. All you have to do is download and install an app from Play Store. Rootset Wi-Fi Command Center is a really useful Android mobile phone application that can be used to control robots as well as home appliances over Wi-Fi. All you have to do is start the app, enter the IP address and port of the listener, go to Robot Controller tab and control the robot using the buttons in your Android smartphone. That's it guys, play with it and have fun. In this channel, you will find tutorials of several DIY robots you can make at home. So if you are really interested in robotics, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.